So, here we are in Stanhope. Uh, as you can see, beautiful village. The worst time is, it's actually it's actually raining. The worst time to come, I mean, terrible, isn't it? Just, if only if it was raining just another day. So yeah, we're gonna go sightseeing for a bit and see great variations. So yeah, got the umbrellas. Just gonna walk around for a bit and look. Can't obviously we can't do that much due to the weather. Probably see the train station. We're definitely gonna see the lake area. So yeah, we've just come across what was called a forge, where sometimes cars can actually drive, you know, drive through and onto the other side into stand up town centre. And sort of you can see buried in there, there's like stepping stones. Yeah, there are like stepping stones you can walk across. Yeah, you can see them. Under there. I mean yeah, could have been done I mean if it was like slightly lighter, do a trick called walking on water. <laughs> that would have been a good trick. So uh we're gonna go towards the trip we're going to go towards the train station to see where else we go and then we're gonna you know then we're gonna pack up and go because obviously now much to do in the rain. So yeah. This, as you can see, the river is getting rapid further down. Amazingly, this. No, right! Wait up! Uh, you can see that <coughs> usually sometimes when this water gets so shallow it's almost like a puddle, only a few puddles of it. <coughs> That's uh, it's almost been a whole disaster today. But don't worry, maybe I'll come back here when it's more sunnier. I'll have to be, I'll have to be alone, doing it alone though. Oh well. So here I am standing on the other end of the bridge. Uh, apparently it's been fenced off due to public safety. I am on the edge of the Weirdale Railway. Trains don't ever come this far, so... Look at all the sheep. Don't let me get shot. Oh heck. That's the thing about living in the north. I mean, some hunters have the right, sorry, some farmers have the right to shoot another animal for the safety of their own. It's only fair enough. Right, gonna head over to the train station. Here we are at Stanhope Ra train station. And <laughs> there's also the tra track tester, which Hi. is enjoying the views as well. Let's have a look at the timetable, maybe a train might come. Or it could be, just the cafe just opened. Have a look. I remember a long time ago I used to ride a train here when I was a kid. And Amazing. So, just at Morrison's, uh, I'm in Bishop Auckland right now. Uh, <coughs> just we're on our way to Shildon, the railway museum. We're, we're on our way to the railway museum just to, you know, so we don't end the day. 
Yeah, so we don't end the day too badly. Just need to find the directions, that's all. I've got myself some sandwiches and I'm really hungry now. I mean, it's dinner time as well, so. Uh, just trying to find my car. <laughs> I have to say, this rain really disappoints me. On a glorious time, the only time I got in it, it rains. I'm at Absolutely bummed I am. <laughs> Just made it into Shildon, the local railway museum, which is owned by the National Railway Museum in York. Luckily, it's just somewhere with a roof over here. You're not bringing your coat right now. Is it? Oh. Sorry about that, it's that way. I mean, yeah, we're just gonna obviously check out the models and whatnot. As you can see, what we are passing here now is an old is an old calling station. Uh, what <clears throat> what the museum used to be it used to be used to be a freight wagons storing coals from the main line all 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 the way from the south, bringing it all the way to here, supplying coals for the train for all the trains in the Weird Weirdale area. Uh, obviously, short you know not long after not not long after steam locomotives were withdrawn, the whole place was shut down since it was almost not necessary. But then, a society decided to reopen it and, sorry, to a society, yeah, a society of, of train spot, uh, train, train fans, decided to reop, you know, reopen it and turn it into a museum since the site was not for sale. Oh my god, I don't believe it. You can't ride down, you can't ride down there anymore. It used to do that, though. Not with that in the way. I remember, I remember actually going in there once. I mean, it's, yeah. it used to be open. My God, so much changes. Nothing stays the same. Not even the littlest of details. Hey, Rich. Forgot me you're doing this. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, shit, look, there's a train ride. Do you want? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, it's still doing a train ride, that's good. That's how far it goes. <laughs> still recording, Yeah, still Oi, Tom! Tom, stop doing that! Set the light, eh? Fucking hell. Seems to be a bit damp. Wait, all this time. Seems to be a bit damp. <laughs> I mean, look at that. My dad used to my dad used to ride on these a long time ago. I think this one. Hold on. Ooh, nope. But it looks like you know. It looks like the, it looks the ones that used to in our area look a little bit like this one. But yeah. So, Richard and... Yeah, one more go, guys. Someone else wants to turn. Yeah, right. Okay, so the attempt is, is to get them all right and beat the score of 27. Ready? Right, so what am I doing? Single yellow and red. Yeah. yeah. Right, ready?
Oh, I think it only goes as high as 26. So. You can't beat it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh well. I'm going back there again. Maybe, maybe, maybe it doesn't go any higher than 26. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that, mate. The prototype of the, the prototype of the HST. Oh, look at that. One of the early stages of a, of a train. A small diesel engine. The Royal Coach. Queen Alexander Salute. This engine doesn't run on fire. It runs on oil. Wow. Not that accurate steam. Hey Rich, this train doesn't work. This this train doesn't run on steam. It runs on oil. Alright. Ryan just playing a bit more games and I've come across this cow oof that looks a bit pissed. Hey I did that earlier, you gotta do it again. Uh, it's, Ready? It's a bit of a boring game. Not really. Not when you put your mind to it. So we've uh <clears throat> it's for the whole museum. We are going to head home now and so now comes the worst part. All oh, travelling all the way home. Oh you can tell by the oil. This train can still this train can still run. It's the best part. It would be nice to see the train. I always loved model trains. Me and my dad used to play this when we... Dad used to play a movie. It's really nice to see. I don't know, just... <coughs> staring at these model... I mean, look at this mole train set. I mean, me and my dad, me and my dad used to love this. In fact, he was one time trying to start start one himself. So yeah, just at a service station, we're driving along the A1 back down south towards Hull because it's the best route to go for. It's quite a tricky road, to be honest. I mean, high tech, modern days, and whatnot. But uh, do what we do do. Um, what we're gonna do, probably do next is you know probably gonna try and find a McDonald's maybe. You know because these lads are hungry and sleepy as well. Because after all last night was a bit of a long night. And <laughs> well, I guess I better get back on the road. So yeah, after two hours of driving, we've finally made. I finally made it back to Hull. Just dropped Ryan off. Uh, me and Richard just get some, some food and then um, obviously I got to drive all the way home. It's a fire engine. <laughs> I have to say it's quite a typical journey it has been. I mean, so long hours. A lot of the drivers were like acting up. 
I mean, it's not safe. It's not safe up now. Just want to get home, lie in my bed. The problem is, I've got to make these videos, so it's not going to be a rest. Very familiar. Oh, so anyway, um, so yeah. Hopefully, you know, my next little videos could be something more exciting. And but this video is not over yet. So. I've just I'm in Cayman now, I'm, so I'm from Bold. I'm so, so close to being home. i uh, just going to let you know that about today, about today, I mean yesterday was alright, you know, the trip was exciting and all, and the night out, I can't rem only remember part of it, it seemed alright, you know, the girl, all the girls and the last and I actually got ki I actually got kissed by this blonde girl, I mean, who can dig my looks, anyway, <laughs> I mean, it was so amazing, um, Unfortunately, you know, the trip to stand up, I mean, it didn't go as well as I thought. I mean, the rain sort of ruined it, and the rain ruined it. But at least, you know, a trip to Shildon to kill some time and and whatnot. And then that long journey, oh, I felt so intense, relaxed. But then, I mean, yeah, it's just so, so long. Longest I've ever driven, I think. If I can remember. <laughs> But it's okay, I mean, it's all about, it's all about practice. You've always got to start somewhere, right? I'm just thinking. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you all for watching, for enjoy, enjoying my journey. <clears throat> Sorry, who, liked this, who enjoyed this journey, and I will see you all around. Bye.